How's it going, buddy? Rob here, back with some more Boulder's Gate 3. Alright, so... We are getting closer and closer to kind of killing off all three of the uh, leaders of the Goblin... Goblin Keep. So... Yeah, just gotta take out this last one. There she is. Uh, no. Let's use a guiding bolt. Oh. Hey, guess what? All right, Asteria. Oh, that just... Seriously, she didn't fall? Close. Thank you. 
Let's go to camp. What can I do for you? Tell me about yourself. What's to tell? I was sired by a vampire named Kazador. Everything before that is so long ago, it's ancient history. And everything that came after, well, um, I'd rather not reflect on it. Huh. You must, re you must remember your life before that. I was a magistrate, working to keep the peace in Baldur's Gate, imprisoning troublemakers, that kind of thing. I can't remember much, truth be told. Centuries of torment will do that to you. Holy shit. So, how were you turned? I was attacked. A gang of vagrants, a tribe of wandering gur, took issue with a ruling I'd made. They beat me to death's door when Kazador appeared. He chased them off and offered to save me, to give me eternal life. Given that my choices were eternal life or bleed to death on the street, I took him up on the offer. It was only afterwards I realized just how long eternity could be. How does someone become a vamp vampire exactly? It's simple. Just find a vampire that will drink your blood and turn you into a vampire spawn. Their obedient puppet. In theory, the next step is to drink their blood. Once you've done that, you're free. And a true vampire. Huh, in theory. So they bit you, you bit them. <laughs> yes and no. The problem is, once you're a vampire spawn, they completely control you. They have to allow you to bite them. And why would they do that? Vampires are power-hungry creatures. They won't lose a servant to create a competitor. Trust me, it doesn't happen. Okay. Well, so far so good. Lady of Sorrows guide us. Did you want something? Why were you in pain before? The wound on my hand. It never quite heals. And sometimes it causes terrible pain to rip through me. It's my burden, though, from Lady Shah. I can feel her influence somehow. Okay. So why would Shah subjects uh, subject you to such a thing? I cannot say. Not with what I can recall. But even then, it would not be for me to question her will. Lady Shah has her reasons. Sure. What causes it to hurt you? It's difficult to say. Sometimes I wonder if it's supposed to be guiding me, punishing me, testing me. But perhaps it's none of those. Perhaps it's completely random. I'd like to hope there's more to it than that. Some meaning that Lady Shah will reveal to me when the time is right. Until then, all I can do is endure. Damn. Okay. How can you manage living with such a thing? It's less difficult than you might imagine when you can't remember life without it. Pain is sacred to followers of Lady Shah. Pain will give way to loss and then to the peace of her eternal darkness. You can tolerate a great deal of suffering so long as it has meaning.
So we're going by Star Trek V logic. For those who don't know what's what I'm talking about for Star Trek V, good. <laughs> it was it was directed by uh, Shatner himself. <laughs> okay. I'm missing one. There she is. Speak. Well, usually, uh, is it me or have you been looking looking at me differently? I have a confession. Oh. I was too hasty to judge you. I thought you witless, gutless. Unimpressively bland. Okay. And what about now? Now? Well, you've earned my respect and more still. You've proven your wits. You are efficient and dominant, in and out of battle. You've proven your courage. I swear, you would tear the horns off one dragon to plunge into another. And you're hardly bland. Your scent alone is enough to make my neck sweat and my hair stand on end. Oh? <laughs> um... Hold on, are you coming on to me? <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> I'm gonna go with that one. Isn't it obvious? I want to taste you. Perhaps tonight. Perhaps later. But I want it all the same. Oh my. Oh. Do you? I'm definitely putting the content rating on this. I'm not gonna lie. I, uh, strangely enough, I was gonna try to. Rom I wanted to romance this character, anyways. Um. So. Yes. Perhaps one night soon, I will come to your bunk and take what is mine. Until that night comes, I shall keep enjoying your scent. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> um. Wolf. Very, very wolf. Ah, my good fellow. Quite the cozy setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. I was just settling in and reviewing my latest findings. Mind flares, cultists, and, of course, your esteemed company. <laughs> what do you know about the mind flare? Why, I'm practically an expert. They've Bullshit. tentacles, you know. Quite shocking. The druid Halson had some kind of mind flare specimen in a jar in his quarters. A replica, no doubt, but truly fascinating to see up close. And their parasites, do you know anything about them? I fought one. Here, on the Sword Coast. Impossible. Not only have I encountered a mind flare, I've killed one. That that can't be. 
I was captured by mind flayers before. Um, or I killed the mind flayer in Slayer aboard the Nautiloid. You're either an excellent storyteller, or you've experienced something quite exceptional. Hmm. Oh. Tell me, have you noticed any residual psionic malaise since the alleged encounter? Malaise is one word for it, more like psychic transference. Curious. Elithids, their technical name, form a hive mind. One shouldn't be able to hear their dark whispers unless. Unless you've been infected with one of their parasites. That's quite impossible. You'd have undergone ceramorphosis by now. Ceramorphosis, uh, ter tell me more. I can't attest to the specifics, but I do know that not long after insertion, the host, that's you, turns into a mind flayer. As there's not a tentacle on your head, I can only assume you haven't been infected. If only your disbelief could alter facts. If what you say were true, you'd be a mind flayer by now. You! Infected by a mind flare? Huh. Ridiculous! Isn't it? Doubts aside, you should keep your distance from me. Uh, examine. Or examine me. Find out for yourself. Perhaps that's for the best. I'd be irresponsible not to debunk such a strange claim. If I just peer in your eye, I could quickly... Oh, dear sweet God! You see it? Alright, quick shouting. I mean, yes. I suppose I can. I'll need to research the particulars, however. Give me a bit of time, and I'll have this little issue sorted. Okay. Now let's see what we just got. All right. Let's go ahead and end the day. just thinking about you and that delicious moment we shared the other night the, no, the moment you bit me the very same I've had this condition for two centuries but 
truth be told, <clears throat> you are my first. Really? In all these years, I've only ever fed on beasts. Drinking the blood of thinking creatures is a different thing entirely. You were delectable. And now I can't help but wonder how the others taste. Well, um... I think we had this, yeah, I think we had this conversation before. They might not be as open to the idea as I was. Alas, it doesn't hurt to ponder the question, though. Take Shadowheart, for example. She strikes me as having a heavy, enigmatic flavor. Vintage port on two legs. But the okay. gift, what in the hells would she taste like? Hmm. Something exotic, surely. An ML liqueur. Oh. Well, that sounds very appealing. I'm almost convinced. This is still theoretical. A uh, theory <laughs> theoretical, right? Absolutely. A mere thought experiment. So. In the spirit of theoretical questions, if you had to take a bite from one of them, who would it be? Are you really asking which person I would eat? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Don't be disgusting. I just mean a sip of their blood. No mastication required. Since we're kind of already on this path already, please help. Mm. A meal that would put up a fight. An adventurous choice. Although, the more I think on it, the hungrier I get. I better go find something I can actually get my teeth into. Right, good hunting. And nothing out there will taste as good as the alternatives. But I'll make do. Sweet dreams. Have a word with each every each character. See if there's anything new. May the darkness protect you. Okay. Wait, someone else still wishes to talk to us. Who? Oh, this guy. Thy name has been recorded. I shall be here in thy camp for whenever thou hast need of my services. Okay. Not to be rude, but what are you? There are many answers to that question. None are important. Okay, sounds good. Skeletons aren't supposed to be able to talk. Correct. Are you going to explain further? No. Okay. You were sorting something before. What were you doing? Beyond mortal realms, there doth exist an amalgamation of spirits akin to thine own, ensnared by the treacherous cult of the Absolute, felled in its name. 
They bear great discontentment with their destiny. For a mere pittance of coin, I might summon the worthiest among them to lend aid to thy undertaking. Hmm. Will these hirelings be joining me willingly? Most willingly, forsooth. Their passions doth run deep for what hath been wrought upon them. Okay. Do you think I can trust these cultists? Suspicion always haunts the guilty mind. My services are all that I can proffer thee. What thou wilt do with them is for thee to undertake. Okay. All right, let's go to bed. I've come to sate you and be sated. I lead, you follow. Okay. I <laughs> I'm ready. So you think Let's see if you're right. Gith train relentlessly. We know our bodies inside and out. Let me show you. Close your eyes and submit. Okay. You awake in pain. Your back, your hands, even your tongue ache. It's time to rise. Dawn is upon us. Hmm. Last night was wonderful. I really enjoyed myself. All right. Yes, of course. We leave at first light. Every breath, every blink proves exhausting. A long day awaits you.
All right. Ah, my good fellow. Quite the cozy setup you have here. I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you so much. So, has your research turned up anything that might help with this parasite problem? My research turned up a rather brilliant technique that seems quite actionable. Okay. It's not too deep. Just behind the orbital socket. I could attempt an extraction. I've a needle in my tunic, after all. Um. Uh. How many times have you done this before? I assure you, I've dreamt of it a thousand times over. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I forgot. Yeah. Oh, this is this is going to be all kinds of bad. I'd rather get a second opinion. You won't find a more learned opinion on this matter, I assure you. Vola carefully holds one of your eyes open and begins to prod uncertainly with the needle. Ah, uh, this is so uncomfortable. Do you have the faintest idea of what you're doing? Don't fidget. The needle must slip behind your eye, not through it. The needle finds the gap between eyeball and socket. Volo frowns and begins to push. All right, that's enough. I, I nearly have it. Uh, Very good. Motherfucker. <laughs> through your body as the needle snags on your optic nerve. I think I have it. The needle seesaws back and forth, plucking the nerve like a heartstring. Oh, bother. There's some obstacle in the way. I shall need a more robust implement. That obstacle is my eye. Stop it once. Stop. Now? Yes, we're done. Regrettable. Mark my words. Ceremophosis will be far more painful than this procedure. He just runs off. Freaking A, man. Okay, let's get back out there. Gotta say, though, we got a lot done. Or at least... We, um, there, there are certain things that happened in this video that I did not expect. Ow. Ow. Oh. Watch your back. All right, so we took out No one stopped me yet. So we took out those three uh leaders of the goblins. 
So now we just gotta find... Okay. Let's see. Okay, let's try this one. Oh, cool. Time to rest. No one back home will ever believe this. So, two of our characters just leveled up. My main character. There we go. And sure enough, we are slowly but surely getting through this.
But for now, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Truly really appreciate it. If you guys can, please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, all the good stuff. If you guys want to follow some social media, links are in the description down below. As well as check out our daily content and the weekly podcast. With that being said, this is Ron Novakast signing off. Have a good one. Take care. And I'll see you guys next video.